To introduce our article, let's remind a famous quantum optic experiment. Let's consider single photons impinging on a polarizing beam splitter. The photons being polarized at 45 degrees from the PBS axis, the outcome is random. The probability amplitude for vertical and horizontal polarizations is represented by these little Gauss photons with their question marks. In a Bell experiment, the photon pairs are polarization entangled. They are the superposition of vertical, vertical, and horizontal, horizontal states. Correlations are obvious. We measure coincidences between sibling detectors. If we rotate one of the polarizers, clear anti coincidences appear. Our goal is to translate this in the frequency domain. In our experiment, we use phase modulators instead of polarizing beam splitters. Let's stop the animation for now. On the left, Photons enter a phase modulator. Photons interact with a classical radio frequency signal. They can give energy to or receive energy from this RF signal. Modulated photons can be translated in frequency and reach modulation sidebands revealed by a diffraction grating in the middle. After the grating, we represent the probability amplitude of being in a sideband by those little Gauss photons. The final detection is done on this virtual sensitive screen on the right. In the case of frequency entangled photons, the input state is the superposition of green-green, yellow-blue and red-violet. Each photon energy is uncertain, but the sum is determined by energy conservation. Let's turn the RF signal off. As expected, you see green-green, blue-yellow and red-violet combinations. When the RF is on, the phase modulator transformation seems to mess up the correlations. Let's focus on the fundamental diffraction order. The spots do not seem that correlated. But if we change the phase delay between the two modulators using that button down there, coincidences appear for a given phase shift. Let's turn the button again. Now, anti-coincidences are appearing. So we do have correlations, as in any Bell experiment, manipulating photons in the frequency domain. After this conceptual animation, here is the real experiment. So, the source, the phase modulators, the RF system, Bragg ratings, and photon counter, all telecom components. In this article, we develop the theory behind this experiment from the single photon point of view and the two photon point of view. And we show that both share the same Bessel interference pattern. We also report our latest experimental results, including 99.17% raw visibility experiment and the violation of the CH74 Bell inequality by more than 18 standard deviations.